Have you been keeping up with what's going on with this whole uh, Rachel Nichols uh, situation and the leaked audio? So I always, I sometimes I, like I have issues with leaked audio. You know what I mean? Just because I'm like, I I understand that you said it. You said it. That's how you, that's how you really feel. But at the same time, you know, we gotta have some type of privacy barriers. Um, I mean, and and to be honest with you, I I don't even feel like what she said was was really that bad. Um, she she said uh, Maria got to to do the finals because she's black. I, you know, and I she's kind of I feel like she's stuck between the rock and the hard place because. She obviously she's not gonna deal with the same issues as as a, as a, a person of color in this field. Right. However, she's also a woman in this field, so she's she so she's going. I'm sure she has dealt with her fair share of things, hurdles, you know, along the way as well. And it's you know, and I and I can understand where she's coming from because it's like you know, you bust your ass. And those are moments that, as a, as as anybody in media, those are uh, one of those moments where when you you get to cover those, it's, just, it's a whole different ball game. So I can definitely understand where she's coming from. But then you know what? On the other side of that, I look at it and it's like you know what? You know I know I get it. You've been through some stuff, but I'm pretty sure you know uh, Maria's been through some stuff as well as you know she because she has to deal with. I'm a woman. I'm also a person of color in a field that's, you know, still dominated by our white male counterparts. And listen, and again, I'm okay. Yeah, even if, even if that was the case, if y'all, you know, if she got that because of, you know, the color of her skin, listen, I feel like we are owed so much that hey, it is what it is. Well, I think as it relates to Rachel and what she said. Um, as a woman, um, <clears throat> context and framing of that context, I kind of feel like she, it's a no-win situation anyway, because one, um, the audio was recorded from a file that was already in the studio. Um, and, and so people can frame that however they want to frame it. But the fact of the matter remains, um, it was a conversation about Me Too or, or excuse me, a conversation about Black Lives Matters last year in a world where you as Rachel Nichols are the face of a television show with ESPN, particularly the jump that people look at my age group in the same way that my grandmother's generation look at Judge Judy and the NBA is 75 percent African-American. Um, she's somebody that's become a trusted voice of the NBA that players like talking to. Yeah. Um, and so I just think that um, with that comes responsibility. And I also think, um, I think that, um, I think that at the end of the day for African-Americans, it's a, it's a, it's a, a field where, um, we have to be 20 times as better. We can't be wrong. We can't mess up. And, um, it's not designed for us to be, um, su- successful. Um, I, I think that um, I think that we have to work hard, and I think that when we work hard, we should be rewarded for it. And I think that at the end of the day, uh, Maria Taylor does seek Stephen A. Smith uh, uh, payment, and as as it's as it's related to what you know Andrew Martin wrote in, in the New York Post, um, I'm not sure how you quantify that as it relates to in comparison to Stephen A, but this is what I'll say. I think that she's multifaceted. I think that she has the ability to do many different things, whether it's sideline reporting, hosting, podcasting, writing, um, and and hosting a pretty powerful show that that has you know, Adrian Wojnarowski, uh, Jalen Rose, and Jay Williams uh, at, 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 and sitting, you know, at, at, at a, in a studio. So yeah. I think it's demeaning when you kind of downplay somebody's con- contribution to a network based upon um, the color of their skin when their impact is um, is uh, is is noticeable. So, yeah, I, I don't I, I've met 
I've met Rachel. I've been in functions with Rachel. Um, she's been kind to me, but that has nothing to do with the subject at hand. And I still don't know all the facts yet, but I only know what, what's been reported. Um, and But I know that Maria Taylor is, is talented. And, you know, I, I hope that she gets the money that she wants because um, uh, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Hey, listen, that's why I said I, like, I, I'm okay with it because I know that there were so many opportunities that we didn't get because we are people of color. So anytime we get those opportunities to be in those spaces, you know, the, the anytime you get to the finals or the Super Bowl or the Stanley Cup uh, uh, finals or the, or the World Series, when you get to to those spaces, those are one of those, those are those are career attributes. When you get to cover those events, so and and again, she's someone who has been putting in the work to you know, so she definitely would deserve that opportunity. And, and and respectfully, Rachel Nichols could deserve that opportunity as well too, because she puts in a lot of work. Um, she's been doing this for for a long time as well. But but you know, I, but I think I think that we're not speaking about Rachel Nichols right now. We're speaking about what was like until you see Maria Taylor say something demeaning about Rachel Nichols. And she she won't for for all no. But I'm saying if somebody caught her on camera saying something and they recorded it, then we'd have to bring her. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Not really as well, we don't have that. So for all attempts and purposes, she didn't. You know, so absolutely, absolutely. like Rachel, Rachel, Rachel got caught. So you know, it, it's an unfortunate situation. Um, I'm cognizant of the fact that stuff that I say does get picked up, um, but I will just say that I hope that it works out for Maria because she will be a free agent um, in the next couple of weeks, and so. You know, I, I've heard that Amazon is a, is a company that may have interest in her. And um, I, I just hope that she she gets paid. And, and I hope that um, that the situation gets resolved. And, and, and I'll add this and I want to be done with it, is that um, I think this is a teachable moment for rising journalists as it relates to um, the microphone being on. And I, I, Mike, I, Mike, you got to know. And, and and also being cognizant of when you have turned off your um your 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 camera, particularly as we're home and using Zoom, uh, and and also knowing who your allies are, not just in race, but also who's in the newsroom as it relates to whether or not someone you made them made them mad at the, at the water cooler and they decided, hey, I'm gonna send this off and get you in trouble. I don't know those specifics, but those are like I said. Those Absolutely. are just Absolutely. lessons to just the whole puzzle. Absolutely. And let me say this, you know, I'm going to throw this out there to Maria. You know, I know in a couple of weeks, you know, you're going to be looking for a new spot. Real Fans Real Talk is here. We probably can't offer you the same amount of money that you can get from an ESPN or Amazon or one of them. But, you know, we can we can hold our own with, with, with any of these uh these sports shows out there, you know, that that that, that do their thing talking. So, you know, just, just keep that in your mind, Marie. Just keep that just a little back in your mind. Just so you know, we out here, we we have a spot here for you at Real Fans Real Talk. I'll make sure when I put this clip up, I'm gonna add you in the clip so you know that anytime you wanna come to Real Fans Real Talk, there's a space for you right here. You know, Verizon, uh, 43, 8 to 9 p.m. You know, we in New- listen, New York is the biggest market anyway, so this might be where you just need to be. It might get you a little extra boost, you know, for the next uh, stop in your journey. But that's neither here nor, nor there. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, Bye, Uh-huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 